the channel and welcome to our full week fall foliage ride starting today it's September 24th uh, so we're gonna do a ride this week next week is the first weekend of October we'll do them on the second weekend of October then we'll do them on the third weekend of October and depending how the foliage goes we might do on the fourth week we'll go through and show you the same area we're gonna be riding into uh, through Westwood and Dedham down by the Dedham Country Club uh, so we're going to show you that whole area. Hopefully you get some really nice uh, you know, photos the whole way. This is a great area. There's a lot of greenery on both sides of the road. So it's a different area than we've done the last two years. We want to keep giving you something different and fun. So we'll come back and show you what that looks like as we go along. And hopefully you have a heck of a lot of fun with us on the ride. Uh, should be some really nice days. Today I got a great start. It's some uh, beautiful, sunny skies, 70 degrees. Should have a really nice start to this foliage ride. So talk to you real soon. All right, guys, before it gets too loud, um, you know, the best thing that I love around these rides this time of year, and then I'm just going to stop talking and listen to some music as I ride, is that end of the year time we get the smell of fresh, fresh smell of grass, any hay or anybody that has anything going on around these farms and different things. So uh, I'm hoping as we go along, you can see a little bit of color change on a couple of the trees here, but not a lot so far. So I'm thinking as we go along, this will probably progress pretty nicely over the next few weeks. Uh, this is a really nice, pretty ride that I like to go on. So this is probably three or four minutes on this road that we'll shoot every week and help to give you a difference of what we see each week as we go along through it. So I'm going to be quiet and just kind of let you enjoy the scenery.
Uh, week two of our four week foliage ride. We're on Summer Street in Dedham. It is October 2nd. It is friggin' cold out. It is like 54 degrees with a wind chill down in the 40s. So I was at a car show all day and I am freezing, but I'm hoping today we can get you some more color. And I can see as soon as we come around the corner, we definitely have more color than we did last week. A lot more oranges. Um, you can see some of the trees are really starting to change. We have a really beautiful setup right in front of us here. A lot of change of the color here. You know, we had, um, we had a relatively, um, I would say average week from a climate standpoint. It was, you know, 50s and 60s, which is right for this time of year. Might have touched 70 a time or two. Uh, we got a couple of a couple of days of rain. Uh, we had a lot of wind, so I'm always curious. We don't look like we have a ton of leaves down. I thought we might. It was very windy this morning. So good news is it doesn't look like it's completely ruined. Um, you know, like last week, I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna kind of go down to where we were before, head down towards Dino, let the video run, and uh, kind of let it speak for itself and come back and talk to you just a bit.
can see today, we have way more color than we've had the last couple of weeks already. That's great. You know, I was worried. I was up by Blue Hills and Canton today, which you guys have seen me shoot some video of, and it was still really green. We were doing a fundraiser show uh, for some of our car stuff or something. A couple of the folks in the club that one passed away and one was injured. Wow, we have a lot more green. So I'm sorry, a lot more color today than we have, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, it's still pretty green. I think next week it'll even be more. This week we had some cold days and it was kind of wet. Um, so that's usually pretty conducive to grabbing some color here. So I'm uh, very excited to share this with you. I think, again, this is such a pretty ride. Uh, again, much like last week. Last week it was much colder. I was at a car show uh, and I came back and it was a lot colder than today. Today is still chilly, uh, but it's not crazy cold out today. We've got a little bit of wind chill, but not too bad. Uh, it's probably like 58. Uh, versus last week it was in the high high 50s, uh, high 40s, low 50s. But again, you can see coming around the corner, much more color, uh, really pretty. So I'm excited to share this one with you. Uh, we've got a couple more weeks I think we'll try to do. I say I'm gonna do four, but I think I'll do five weeks. Cause I think we can add some more color in this year with those five weeks, so. So week four, October 15th, we should have a ton more color today. I, I can tell you everywhere else I've been, there's a lot of leaves down. There's a lot of leaves that have changed color. You see them coming here, you can see a lot more yellows. You see all the greens and the yellows and the reds right here. So we're definitely getting some good color change. I'm hoping we get a really pretty view today as we go through. You can see over here on the right, and this is all yellow and red. These trees have all changed. Even on the left over here. What a huge week, it, uh, you know, what a huge difference a week makes. I was in Phoenix all week and it was hot. Uh, here it's been relatively cool, 
not crazy. It's been like, you know, seasonably cool. Uh, we had some rain, a little bit of wind, um, which is always this time of year will give you the change we're seeing today. I mean, like I said, this is a substantial difference from even just a week ago. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this view. The, the plan is to do two more weeks. Uh, I'm going to try to do... Um, try to do next week and the week after so that'll take us right into the end of October beautiful on the right over here um, so yeah I'm looking forward to sharing some more of this because we still have a ton of trees that I haven't changed at all yet um, so I think we gotta get a really pretty view I'm excited to see when we go up by the farm today turned out to be a perfect day weather wise uh, I had a long day I was down there. My, my sister got a new home in Connecticut about 80 miles away so we were down there earlier it's beautiful down there too and I'm uh, just coming back, I wanted to come in and get my ride in. So it's a little later in the afternoon. It's like four o'clock. So pretty view with the way the sun is right now. We've got a couple more hours till the sun goes down. But I think you guys can get a good view here. You get up on the right, gorgeous, uh, gorgeous view of some of these colors here. So I'm very excited to share this with you. Um, you know, I think maybe I started a little too early this year, going the last week of September. But again, this should be our, uh, I think this is our fourth week. Right, I know I did like the last week of September, the first week of October, second week, this should be the third week. So yeah, this should be week four. Uh, but yeah, there's just so much cool stuff to see and I'm excited to share it with you. I thought I was going to do one more week after this. This may end up being the last week because there's a lot of leaves down. So we'll see as we go through what we see. Uh, also, I screwed up and I don't have a lot of battery life in this bike. So this will be an interesting ride to see if I'm going to ride this heavy ass bike home with no pedal assist. So we'll see what happens. All the good news is on this road, I could actually get down to zero and not use anything and just pedal the bike myself because a lot of downhill here. see guys there is a ton of color right now especially compared to last week the only, my only fear like I said the reason I might end it this week is I don't know if we're gonna have a lot of leaves on the trees here in a week or so there's a ton of leaves now from just where we were a couple of weeks ago that's how we're walking around the neighborhood 
Uh, if you saw my video from the other day, about how we are on a rock, we have leaves everywhere. It is beautiful though. I think we are uh, right at, if, uh, if, we, if we're not just right past peak, we're at peak, but I think, like I said, there's so much stuff down that we might be just past peak right now. It's all good, it's still uh, beautiful. I said I need to save my pedal assist for the ride home. So I have a lot of hills after this road, so it'll be a little slower on this ride than we've been. I usually average about 20, 21 miles an hour after about 18 right now. So I'm excited to show that farm up to you. Here it sounds like a little hill, but it looks beautiful. I think it will. Uh, this time of year, this is kind of the right time for it. We get a lot of oranges this year. We get a lot of cold. Usually, if you get kind of a mix, I think you get more reds. We get a ton of oranges this year. A lot of yellow, not a lot of reds, though. But this is so pretty right now. This is that peak of that foliage ride. I hope you like it. I enjoy doing this ride every year. It's uh, been about a month. Probably even a little less because it's mid October. I'll end up putting the Elto bikes away for the most part for the winter and just focus on the Peloton between November and April, really. So I'll get, March. I'll get a couple rides in usually in the winter. And we'll see how that goes. With a little pedal assist up here. This is a pretty good uphill. This as we get to the, uh, the golf course, we'll head up by that farm. And uh, you're gonna be golfing today, which I'm surprised. It's a little chill, but it's in the low 50s, so it's a beautiful sunny day. I think you've got two people out golfing. It's actually pretty good weather for golf. And I'm wearing a light pair of jeans and a light sweatshirt for my ride, and so I feel really comfortable. I would want to do this in my shorts today, but it's not bad at all. Keep our ride going here. This is that little farm we pass every week. Let's see what it looks like over here. Plus, we'll give those rough road bike guys a little leeway. 
crazy. Like I said, there's uh, some really good color, but there's a lot of naked trees over a lot of leaves now. Alright, I'm going to make out right up here. I'll get a little bit more footage. And then I think we'll call it. something to look at. I've been doing this, really doing this outside in this neighborhood for since, geez, 20, 2018, I think I started my fitness journey. I really started it. And you know, it's gotten really more serious the last couple of years, but we've done a lot of stuff. And to be able to go through and share all this is awesome. So happy to share it with you. Guys, I'm gonna shut this off in just a second. I'm gonna thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate everybody that watches the channel. Uh, you know, for you guys that are subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, please subscribe if you like the content. We appreciate all of you for checking us out. With that being said, that's going to do it for our fall foliage ride for 2022. We'll come back and see you really soon with a couple of fitness updates. And then obviously we'll dive deep into the 20,000 steps per day for November, which should be a whole heck of a lot of fun. Hopefully we get some nice weather to start. And then uh, we'll walk into that journey again and we'll see how we do from a fitness standpoint. I'd like to lose maybe 10 pounds in November, I think this is my goal. So we'll see how that goes, uh, how that goes. And we'll talk to you really soon. Thank you all so much for checking out the channel.